it's Stephanie here from Oh You're Lovely and today, today is all about fall. Oh, I'm stinking excited. back to another tutorial and we're gonna jump start into fall I know while this goes live most likely it's very much in the middle of summer but we might as well start working on some fall bou bouquets shall we I know a lot of DIY brides are working on their pieces before their big day so I thought let's play around and today we're gonna play with some greenery that might not yet be live on the site if it isn't yet Hold your horses, it's coming, it's worthwhile, I'm so excited. So let's just jump right into this tutorial. All right guys, for this tutorial, you are going to need greenery. Ooh, what, floppy floppy. Most of this should be in the shop, and if it isn't yet, it will be soon. Oh, do you just see this bountiful of beautifulness? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Now I believe this little guy, and I just dropped something, but I believe this little guy right here um, is gonna be an exclusive for our subscription box members. Don't hold me to that, it might be in the shop. And if it's not, and you're upset with me, I'm sorry. But I'm so excited to play with it. You will also need solo wood flowers in the colors of your choices. We're going dark and moody with this one since we've got some fall vibes going. I'm also going to finish it off with some corn broom. I'm not gonna go over in depth how we're gonna do that, but if you need a tutorial for that, we have a couple. If I forget to link it in the description, which happens very often, if I do, just leave a comment and say, hey Steph, how, how do you do that corn broom stuff? And I'll link you to the right video. All right guys, let's jump into this. Oh, one other thing. I have not done anything in terms of like trying this out before we're gonna go in blind and we're just going to have a creative play fun day so let's see if this actually turns out I think it will but you never know this might be a two-part video <laughs> we'll see all right guys before I start I realize I should probably go through all of the greenery because this is gonna be a very greenery heavy piece so what we've got in here is we have this I never say right but I just listened to the pronunciation per Google, Smilax. We don't have two different colors for this. Just this one, that's all we have. Smilax, then we have Ruscus, and I have this in two different tones. We've got an orange Ruscus, and then we have this like greenish brown Ruscus. Um, I'm only using a little bit of the one and then a whole bunch of the orange to kind of pull in some color. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about these. Bunny tails! They are the softest things ever, that's why you call them bunny tails in the grass. It is a grass, so those who have allergies, be aware. Um, but bunny tails, I'm gonna play with them. I've never played with them, I'm so excited. We also have some faux eucalyptus in the darker green tones. We've got this hanging, which I've already pulled apart, um, but green and yellow greenery that's got like some hang to it. We have these orangey yellow ginkgo leaves. We have some bleached ruscus. We have the variegated begonia leaves. And then this one we haven't named, but it's just sparkle goodness. It is a, like a ruscus with some brown berries and they're all full of glitter. <gasps> I know glitter's not for everybody, but boy oh boy, when you find the right project, it just adds a little something something. All right, so that's all of the greenery. Let's just start making. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do, um, I think I wanna make more of a fan type bouquet. You can kinda of see in the background, I have one that's similar to the style I'm going for. However, I do, most of my greenery is pretty structured, so it will stand up pretty well. This stuff is a little bit floppier, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a bottom base, and so what I'm doing is I'm crossing, I'm crisscrossing my greenery to give it some structure and create a base. And again, I do have all my greenery separated out in the groups of each style on my table. And then I'm gonna hold on to this piece in particular so that I can scoot that in later and tie everything in. 
we're looking pretty good on that. And then I'm going to start to bring my wires in a little bit, but not too much yet because I wanna make sure I keep that structured form I've got going. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up a little bit. It's a little bit tricky with your hand positions, holding everything together. We wanna start building up that kind of up fan version. And the, my fan is really gonna to come together, I think, I'm hoping, with the ginkgo. And again, we're doing that crisscross technique to bring these across. I'm just grabbing the longer leaves, the ones that have a little bit more weight to them on the outer edges. And again, now I can start to like fold my leaves in a little bit we've got our handle going, bring that up, and then I think, make sure we mix some of the other, so now we've got like this fan kind of piece. And this has, the begonia leaves have a lot of structure to them, so that's really going to help um, not have it so flappy necessarily. All right. The ruscus is a bleached ruscus, so it's a plant that has all of the, the color that's been taken out of it. Um, depending on the harvest of ruscus, sometimes it's super soft, sometimes it's a little pokey. Just be aware of that. And these are, they're not artificial stems, so I can't bend those as much. So once they go in, um, you kind of have to be okay with the placement of where they are. And I am pulling some of those ankle leaves by my hand, so whenever I pull that, I'm just gonna pull that out. All right. That's where... I know, it looks like a hot mess at first. It always does. You just gotta trust the process. And I'm gonna bring in my eucalyptus. When I start making, sometimes I know exactly like the shape that I want to try to achieve, the color, like how everything I want it to kind of flow. And then sometimes I just kind of let the greenery do what it wants to do and we see what happens. And I want to tone it down a little bit. So we're going to bring in the sim smile axe. Like smile, smile axe. I always want to call it something completely different. That is not what it is. And that helps, there we go, that helps break that down a little bit. Add in some other ruscus. Got a couple more bogonia leaves that need to get in there, and then we're gonna put that showstopper glitter in there too. Okay, so we still have some of the sedum. We also have our showstopper glitter and bunny tails. All right, so let's start figuring out where we want these, if we want them. I think we do. This is definitely uh, all about the greenery, though it'll be about the flowers too. All right, let's keep doing this. I'll see. I'm not like I'm excited, but I'm also, oh yeah, okay. Okay, 
bunny tails, we're just gonna kinda start kind of fishing those in. It is a dried grass, so um, the stems are not super tough, but they don't seem to bend all that bad either. I'm gonna grab a group of them, see if I can get like a cute little group. Let's get some that are the same length or close to it so that we can fish them all down together. <laughs> I just love the little bit of movement they create. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited about these. I want a couple here and then a couple there, I think is where we're we're at. And I have a wire that is floating around attached to nothing. We're just gonna stick that in there. <laughs> Where did you come from? Okay, that one says I'm on top. Just wanna. <laughs> oh, the little things in life that make me so stinking happy. Oh my gosh. All right. I am going to consider the base done for right now. Look at those stems on there. I'm going to consider that done for right now. We're going to add the flowers and then we'll also add in this purple sedum and we'll see what, what is created. Oh goodness. All right. So here's the flowers that we've got. I've got Mona Lisa. I've got some mums. I've got some ruffled dahlias, water lilies, Sophia's, I believe cottage rose and lovely are all in there all in these darker kind of rich tones except for i've got a little pop of light pink in there and we'll see the mona lisa's we dyed to look like anemones and we'll see oh i think oh yes there we go i wasn't 100 percent sure if i was gonna like that or not i'm gonna like that already already crystal clear on that one and right now I'm just willy-nilly putting in flowers kind of just depends on the day and today today is a day of play this is definitely an extra extra kind of okay it's a lot going on but man oh man I ain't mad about it not one bit Now the anemone is, I'm going to, I'm paying attention a little bit to those because I feel like those pop compared to the rest because um, they stand out a little bit more with the coloring. So I've got kind of this going on. I want to put one maybe right down here and that's the only ones I have. So hopefully they're spread out but not like, I don't want them to be like too linear. So yeah, that's, that's looking good. Those just pull everything together. Oh my gosh. We're getting close to it being done. Didn't mean to, but this is a little bit of an asymmetrical bouquet going on too. I ain't mad about it. Wasn't intentional, but it's looking pretty nice. All right, let's grab the other purple. Pop that up there. She pops against that ginkgo like nobody's business. Okay. I always say I'm not going to have a ton of flowers, and then this happens. <laughs> Just can't help myself. Help myself, 
it always just turns out so extra extra. All right, let's tie this off. We're gonna use a zip tie, just so I could give my hands a break, finally. All right, we're gonna clip the wires and we're gonna put on some of the corn broom and call it a day. All right guys, so I've tied off my corn broom. I'm gonna leave it like this. I actually kinda like it. It gives me that feel of like, I don't know, fall. It just screams fall to me. So I'm gonna use some burgundy ribbon, wrap that around so we hide that, um, what is that called? Vinyl, vinyl tape, that's what it is. Vinyl floral tape, maybe. Hey guys, words are hard. <laughs> so, I'm just going to wrap this up. Let's grab a look. I want to make this nice and long. I want this dramatic. So, and if it's too long, that's why we can always shorten it. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my ribbon pretty close to even. And I'm just going to tie it in a knot around my vinyl. Like so. And then I'm gonna wrap it down a little bit on both sides, just evenly, kind of crisscrossing wrapping. And, and then we'll go back up a few times and tie it off. Alright, so we've got tie there like this that's a little too long so cut it off there and then I'll do that handy dandy trick fold your ribbon in half go down up cut towards the fold to make that cute little peak we'll do that on both sides And there you go, she's done. All right guys, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I know it's the middle of summer, but hopefully this, this totally gives me fall vibes. I don't know about you. And I cannot like the movement of this. It's just absolutely glorious to me. I did not intend for it to be kind of more asymmetrical, but it definitely is. I think probably because of us pulling some of that ginkgo down here, it just brings your eyes to kind of go in this flow of a direction. Oh, I'm loving this bouquet. Man, to get married again, I would probably do a fall wedding now. Can I do my renewal in fall? I got married in winter. <laughs> so, I hope you guys love the tutorial. If you have any questions, like always, make sure to drop them in the comments and we'll answer them as soon as possible. If you're loving these videos, can't get enough, want to know when the next one goes live, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell. And to find out about the 150 solo style flowers along with greenery and craft supplies, go to oyourlovely.com. Until next time, this is Stephanie from Oh Your Lovely, and you, my friends, are absolutely lovely. Bye, guys.